I used to think that I don't care about investing until I learned this and if I continue not to care and do something about it, I'm going to feel sorry for myself in the future. The other day I was craving for roti planta. I haven't had one for a very long time, so I went to buy one in the mamak store nearby. When I went to pay, the auntie told me it's 3 ringgit and 20 cent. I was shocked. I thought I heard wrongly. So I asked again, 3 ringgit and 20 cent? Then the auntie said, 3 ringgit and 20 cent. I couldn't believe myself. This is f***ing daylight robbery, man. Last time, I would eat two roti planta, only I'm full. Today, I eat one roti or so I have food. Full of anger. Things are just getting more expensive. Why is that happening? Should you be worried? And how can you beat it? In a healthy economy, people earn more over time. This means higher demand for goods and services. And higher demand will lead to naturally price increase. And that's actually a good thing, right? Because it serves as an incentive for more people to enter into business and expand their business. So overall, it helps the economy. But if this is not managed properly, bad things can happen. Uncontrollably high inflation can collapse the country and sink it into chaos. As it did for Venezuela, the country registered an inflation rate of 430 34% in 2017. A cup of coffee, which used to cost 450 bolivar, became 1 million in just one year. Can you imagine Joe Lo having to use all his wealth just to buy one cup of Starbucks coffee? That is why government agencies spend a lot of effort to keep inflation in check. But they can't control how you spend your money, right? So what they do is they influence your spending behaviour through monetary policy. And back in Malaysia, reality aside, according to official government statistics, we register around 3% inflation rate a year. And that's pretty good. But I bet you feel the pressure of inflation in your daily life. It's getting harder to save, to accumulate wealth or to retire. Just look at house prices. In the past, our parents could easily buy a double-storey house in Petaling Jaya for less than 400,000. And today, the same house is probably gonna be 1 million ringgit. Your parents saved up for a comfortable retirement just by putting their money into fixed deposit. But today, with low interest environment, you can forget about it. The reality is, the world has changed. Although raw chicken did not increase much in price, but services and assets have increased in price tremendously, making it hard for young people today to make it in life. <laughs> So, what can we do? How can we beat inflation? First, don't just depend on your salary. Create another source of income. While some may think that this is only for rich people, today, it's all the more important that you do this. Just look at the COVID pandemic. When many lost their job, it's really scary to lose your only source of income during this time. So, build a side hustle that supplements your income. Go and create another source of income. If you're more adventurous, get out and start your own business. You can't decide your salary if you work for people, but as a business owner, you can set the selling price and that is why business owners are always wealthy. If you can't beat inflation, join the inflation. <laughs> Secondly, let your money work for you. Stop saying stuff like, I don't really care or I'm not interested in investing. If you are not doing anything, just leaving your money in a normal bank account or fixed deposit, you're actually losing money. You're getting robbed by inflation. I used to think that I don't care about investing until I learned this and shit, if I continue not to care and do something about it, I'm going to feel sorry for myself in the future. Even if you think that stocks are not for you, there are many other assets that can hedge against inflation, such as gold, properties and bonds. Such asset classes requires less monitoring and active management because the characteristic of these assets is that they automatically adjust their value against inflation. Third, is inflation in the city too much? Why not think about moving out of the city to other places? I literally know someone who works for a bank and intentionally asked for a transfer to a branch in a rural town in northern Malaysia. His reason? As a bank executive, his pay is going to be the same whether he's in KL or in a rural town. But the inflation cost is substantially lower in a rural town and that way he managed to beat inflation and save a lot of money. I thought this is a really good trick to punch inflation in the face. And it's even easier today since we have developed a remote working culture due to this COVID pandemic. So think about it. If your boss gives you that flexibility, why not take a chance? Hmm, maybe next time when I go to the mamak store, I should ask the Anne where he come from and go back together with him to set up a mamak store. That way, we can beat inflation together. <laughs>